Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We hope you enjoy these videos. We try every Sunday afternoon to show you guys some meal ideas that we've cooked during the week. This was a week that I did spend more time cooking at home. We ate out a little bit less. We had an unplanned meal out in the middle of the week. I had to go to see the doctor about my hand, and I was not able to cook that night, so Tim very sweetly took me out to eat, but everything else is homemade and home cooked. We've got a lot of easy weeknight meals for you guys. I hope y'all are getting some ideas of things to try. We've got a lot of different flavors and foods this week. I hope you enjoy the video. I still haven't been to my favorite Chinese restaurant, so I made some more at home. I started with some pot stickers that I steamed in my rice cooker. That's that bad hand. I like buying varieties of Asian noodles at the market a couple towns over, but I'm always very amused to read the directions in the back and glad they have some form of English. This was a pantry meal for me. I had a package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs in the freezer that I thawed out and diced into small pieces. I dusted them really well with some cornstarch to get the sauce to adhere to them. While we were on our break late last year, I had used a half a bottle of this plum sauce. I still had it in my refrigerator, so I mixed it with liquid aminos, or you could use soy sauce, and some spices like garlic powder, ground ginger or fresh, um, chili flake, brown sugar, and finally some rice wine vinegar to thin it out. And this was basically my stir fry sauce. Whenever I stir fry anything in my wok, I like to flavor my oil. So I took my olive oil and added some jarred minced garlic and some squeezed ginger. You're welcome to use fresh. I just don't usually have them on hand. I don't let them cook for very long, about 15 or 20 seconds. I think anything over about 30 and it starts to burn. And then I add whatever takes the longest. In this case, it's the protein, the diced up chicken that I have tossed with cornstarch. I'll let that cook and move it around until it's about halfway ready and then I add the next thing that takes the longest to cook which in this case was my hard vegetables some chopped up onion and some chopped up carrots in the meantime I took some frozen crab rangoon out of a big box from Sam's and did those in our air fryer and we've got a document that linked below that shows how long I do those in our air fryer then it's time to add the softer vegetables once everything's almost cooked I was cleaning out my produce drawer and I had some broccoli and some mushrooms that I wanted to add to my chicken stir fry. I really like cabbage in my stir fry. I didn't have it, but I had part of a bag of coleslaw mix. So I added that until everything was starting to cook. And then it was time to add the plum sauce that I mixed up. I've also used a black bean sauce. I also have a just a basic stir fry sauce that I can share with you guys and hope to do that in a future video. We've had a couple of requests for stir fries and basic things like that. So I hope this gives you some ideas. So this chicken is stir fried with the plum sauce mixture and we'll have it over, we'll have it over the rice noodles with steamed dumplings and crab rangoon on the side. And that's what's for dinner tonight. Yum, yum. Next up is another pantry meal for me. I always have these ingredients on hand to make a quick crock pot maple barbecue chicken. We do have a separate video for this. We'll list all the ingredients and the steps, so I'll leave a link to that above in an iCard and also in the description box below. It could not be easier. I take some pantry ingredients like ketchup, maple syrup. You can even use pancake syrup and mix up a quick barbecue sauce. You season your chicken breast in your crock pot, pour the sauce over it, and let them cook until they're ready. Mine cook pretty quick in my little west bend, and I don't even need to take the chicken out and put it in another bowl to shred with forks. In the meantime, I'm fixed yet another serving of air fryer potato logs or potato wedges with some Cajun seasoning. We've shown those in the last couple videos. So when your chicken is ready, you just shred it up. It looks like a lot of sauce right now, but it turns out to be the perfect amount. I don't really 
hardly any liquid left once you shred the meat. It's not saucy or soupy at all. So the maple barbecue chicken in the crock pot, we just put on buns. I made some home fries in the air fryer. Oh goodness. Tim put banana peppers and a big blob of ketchup with his home fries. And that is what's for dinner tonight. Tonight we're gonna work on some items from the pantry and the freezer. I found this box at Sam's Club. It has two large 15 ounce packages. I'm gonna use one of them tonight of fully cooked herb buttered sirloin strips. I was gonna do sandwiches, but we're trying to eat a little healthier, so we're gonna do a big salad. This is by the same company, I think it's called Kronos, that has the lamb euro slices at Sam's. They do still have that product. This I bought on a markdown clearance. So I don't think these are still available. We've not tried them. We might not like them, but I'm going to cook them up in the skillet. It just takes about five or six minutes to warm them up and make a big salad. So tonight is just a salad with the herb buttered sirloin strips that I sauteed up, warmed up in the skillet on the stove. Got two kinds of lettuce, some croutons, some vegetables, some cheese, and some Marcona almonds that I found marked down at Kroger. I also made up Tim some blue cheese salad dressing, which has blue cheese, mayonnaise, sour cream or yogurt, lemon, some seasoning, salt and pepper. We will make our salads. I'll show you our picture. That's what's for dinner tonight. This morning, I'm making Rotel cups using these Athens Philo shells to take to Bible study. I'm going to fill them with a mixture of canned Rotel that I've drained some bacon bits. You can just buy the small bag. I think they're the Hormel brand. I just happen to have this big bag of Sam's I keep on hand from salads. We'll mix Rotel, bacon, mayonnaise, and cheese and stuff the shells and bake them at 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then I'll show you guys, um, hopefully, what we've got at Bible study today. So the Rotel cups, I think I did them about 13 minutes in my oven. I'm having my first breakfast before I go pig out at Bible study. We have a great potluck spread every week at my ladies' Bible study. I tend to only show the weeks where our small group brings food. We had several delicious breakfast casseroles, some cheesy grits. There's Betty. Hey, Betty, wave to everybody. Um, my Rotel cups, we had some a pineapple casserole, some homemade muffins, some different flavored cheese straws. There were some peppermint ones that were delicious. Chocolate, several cakes for dessert. It was all delicious. We had a great time at Bible study. We're finishing up our Finding God Faithful study by Kelly Mentor. And just for grins and giggles, I thought I'd show you that there's very little left. That's the after effects of a great meal. Hiding way back in my pantry, I had a harvest grain blend from Trader Joe's. So while Tim had plenty of meat for leftovers, I took this opportunity to make a little spin on the warm farro salad that I've been enjoying. Rather than the farro, I tried this grain blend. It was good, but I do think I like this recipe better with the farro. But this gave me a chance to fix me something healthy. I used the rest of the um, mushrooms for making the stir fry, some ham that was actually left from last week from a potato soup, and then the rest of the spinach from making the big salad with blue cheese and the sirloin strips. I mixed all those together. I added some feta and the same dressing that the warm farro salad um, uses, which is olive oil, lemon juice, and some seasonings. Mixed these all together, and this made a delicious dinner for me. Tim heated up some meat leftovers, so we were both happy this night. 
So a riff on the healthy warm farro salad where I used the Trader Joe's Ancient Grains blend and some little bits and bobs that I had left in the produce drawer along with some ham and some feta. And that is my dinner tonight while Tim has leftovers. I probably like the farro better, but this is pretty good for just winging it. There are nights when I really just don't feel like cooking, so thank goodness we have things like DiGiorno pizzas in the freezer and fine china. Pizza, it's what's for dinner. I went to see a specialist this week about my hand. They gave me a very painful shot in my wrist and thumb. I did not feel like cooking, so Tim very sweetly offered to take me out to eat. He let me pick. I picked a local diner. He got a hamburger steak and mashed potatoes and salad, and I got a delicious shrimp salad. And to treat me, since I felt so bad, he let me go to the bakery and pick out whatever I wanted. Of all the cookies and the choices, I picked a chocolate fudge square and a big old gingerbread man. Bingo! El cut out o. Oh. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Let's cook, y'all. Have a wonderful and truly blessed day, y'all.